Sarah, Brent, House GOP leaders say more needs to be done to regulate recreational marijuana in the state. The law already includes some safety provisions like requirements for product lab testing and packaging and labeling standards, but lawmakers on both sides of the aisle believe it's not enough. We are not doing our job as a legislature if we don't address some of the side effects of this legalization. Tuesday, Republican leaders calling on the legislature to pass additional measures for cannabis safety. We haven't even gotten our arms around the enforcement and the safety pieces of this. There are more than a dozen proposals include banning edibles, capping the amount of THC allowed in a single serving, requiring childproof packaging for all products, and prohibiting sales of THC products at gas stations. We wait for the mercy of bureaucrats to sit around and make decisions on what this animal should look like. Candelora says the governor and state Democrats are focusing solely on the positives of recreational marijuana while ignoring safety concerns. This is such a hard topic. We have made this legal. But we don't want, as a result of commercialization, people to die. But lawmakers on both sides of the aisle share these concerns. There are some provisions to keep things safe, um, as in restrictions on gummies, making sure things are individually wrapped and all that. But there, we need to go further. GOP leaders included all these proposals in one House bill, which they say will get a public hearing in the next few weeks. Now that it's legal, shouldn't we do everything in our power to protect the citizens of Connecticut? No Democrats from the General Law Committee, which is taking up this bill, were available to speak with me today. But some of these bigger proposals could be non-starters in a Democrat-held House and Senate. Brent, Sarah, 